Bryson Barner. You might recognize me from Deer Hunt 2009 and Bryson Deer Hunt 2010. This year we're going to embark on another adventure. My name is Rob Cunningham. I'm the Chief Hill and Sidekick this year. Join us as we go on an adventure to British Columbia, Canada, the Sikini River Ranch for a moose and goat milk hunt. Community pride, a community in bloom. <laughs> Fort St. John. Now let's hitch a three hour car ride North Pink Mountain. Welcome to Sickany River Valley, located in the heart of the Canadian Rocky Mountains. Sickany River Outfitters has access to over 1,500 square miles of unspoiled wilderness. Man, it'll take you back in time where nature's been left unchanged and the wild game population is abundant. This be day one, so we will go make sure everybody's up and ready to go. We got our rifle sighted in, coming over here to the horse stables. Saddle up, Roy. Time to skin this smoke wagon. Well, this here's diesel. So I apologize, the video tape so bouncy, but uh, man, we are headed up the trail, seven hour ride, here we go. We made it to base camp. This place is just absolutely amazing. We've been glassing all morning. We've seen maybe 10 moose and a heck of a shooter bull elk. We're trying to round up one more or two horses and uh, we're gonna head that way. We just made it to the top of the hill. <laughs> Don't know if this will work or not. I don't think you can see that. And glass and two big bulls. Two big bull moose. Starting to almost run out of daylight. Went down into some of that deep dark stuff. Hopefully we'll uh, see him come out and get a shot. Okay, we've been stalking the two big moose. We got in position. They're about to come out. Everybody's getting set up and getting ready. Well, the moose never came out, so we're headed back. One day the guy on the buffalo was cruising around through the plains seen a bear. And he thought to himself, oh man, I gotta get away from the bear. Hope he don't. As the grizzly bear comes out of hibernation, it scourges around for food. Will nature take its course? Only you can prevent forest fires. Raining like crazy, morale was down, we hadn't seen many animals, so we've had to build a fire. We had a chance at a nice 50 inch bull moose, but just outsmarted us, got in too close to him. He hid behind the tree and he was gone. Continued on and this is the rewards we get. Got him, nice six by six, beautiful bull, beautiful shot, beautiful guide. <laughs> I would say beautiful. <laughs> I believe your first bull elk, right? First, first bull elk, first elk ever. We decided to go over the mountain and down this other valley towards Trimble and ran into this beautiful bill. hiked back about 50 minutes made it back there he is 
Got the boys on the porch. Been here eating dinner. Oh. Couldn't really go hunting because all the snow and everything in the mountains. So here we are, thought we'd do some fishing. We landed a beautiful trout. Man, what a glorious day. Joe, how many fish have you caught? <laughs> Whoa, almost fell in. There's my little tiny fish. Man, had a pack rat build a nest in my bag. Thanks to Rob and his fire poker. Problem solved. Alright, I swear there's a bear breaking in the into the cabin. We got night vision on. I don't think it's a bear. We're packing into the next camp, heading over to Twin Lakes. Hopefully it'll produce some moose. Looks like we got us a porcupine. An answer to the age-old question. There's a bear in the woods, I guess so. Packed into uh, the second camp over at Twin Lakes. We're gonna give it a shot over here.